so we're continuing to film while cleaning the jewelry. If you don't realize that I have been sitting here now, what will seem like to you for three weeks. There are other videos happening. Previous things like spirituality and social media and sister work, my new thoughts on it, all that. Pick over those. But we are still cleaning the jewelry pile. My name is Sam, this is Shadow Harvest. If you knew yet, I, hi. But otherwise, let's talk about losing spiritual jewelry and what the fuck that means. <laughs> or losing a particular item that it could be witchy, blessed, whatever. I don't know about you, but I have very mixed feelings on this. Um, anyone else here back in the day, I don't know if I, I think I heard this from like some crystal shop or some other woo friends of mine that I just had around. But I heard at one point that if you lose a crystal or if like, if you're like carrying crystals around with you, whatever the crystal may be, and you lose it, you, you know, just don't know where it's gone, it's fell out of your pocket, whatever, that that crystal was meant to leave you. It has done its service to you. It now needs to be elsewhere. It is a spiritual sign that it needs to go poop. That is interesting to me on some respect of the idea of like, oh wow, having items, specifically crystals, having a maybe a slight consciousness of their own and saying like, yeah, you, you, I've done all I can for you, time to, time to go elsewhere. What if something, a piece of jewelry or a something is a little more valuable? I am right now cleaning a whole bunch of jewelry that has been handed down to me through the generations. This is great grandmother's, grandmother's shit, my parents' shit. Some of this is very invaluable, even though it is costume jewelry for the most part. I think the most expensive thing in here is probably some sort of sterling silver or something, something. Like none of this is precious metals or any of that, but it does hold high sentimental value. And the idea of it being a spiritual thing that I then have and then lose, it has a whole nother level of guilt and association. I can't as easily just go, oh, that was meant to leave me. That was meant to go elsewhere. That is a sign from someone. Um, in fact, if I did lose something of this nature, there is a level of panic that is happening. I am scouring the globe for that piece until I find it again. But there is also a piece of jewelry that I currently actually have no idea where it is. I've had it for forever. I've talked about it before. I think there's a video called my, um, my, my, my the one's talisman that brings me comfort on my video. I'll find it and link it somewhere around here. And it is literally just, I have a, oh, I have other versions of it in front of me. But when I was younger, I went to like a Renaissance fair or something and I found like these dragon claw things, the little glass globes. You see them a lot everywhere, right? And the reason I have so many of these, like why do you have so many? Why are they all red? Um, they're all a little bit different, different types of claws and stuff going on here is because the original one, my original one, I got when I was 12. It had a little red gem and it used to be stuck and this one's it used to not spin, but after me fiddling with it so much when I was nervous or anxious when I was younger, it started to spin. And I would spin, 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 spin to the point that like it started like wearing down the claws. I wore it all the freaking time. At one point, it even broke around right here. Let's see if I can get this to focus. But it broke right around here, snapped. And then my dad being nice that he was because freaking out because it's my favorite freaking necklace he then drilled a hole further down here and he put a little like key ring loop through it and then i wore that on my neck like that specific thing very much was clearly an important spiritual piece to me when i was younger now i had a panic attack and the reason i have so many of these now because i lost it lost it it went poof i had no idea where it went when i was about 16 i think and when i tell you i cried i cried my eyes out after losing that my parents being total sweethearts went out and got me one a new one saying here you go and it did not mean the same this was not the same thing as the one that i had used for so long this was not the piece that had gone through with me that was there soothing my anxieties i literally had felt at times my energy going into it i would charge it in the sun all very witchy things to do without realizing that that was witchy and then i remember moving into my college apartment I was 18 unpacking a shit ton of boxes so i'm 18 this is two years later this is and sure enough there it is just sitting there i was like the fuck i called my parents and i go did you fuckers pack this in here they're like no we didn't pack it in there we thought it was gone gone i was like oh my god i was so happy so excited wore it non-stop wore it non-stop wore it non-stop and then suddenly one day it's missing again not even like a year later i'm like god damn it it's gone 
Not again. And here I am freaking out because I went to uh, college in the city of Chicago. So it's gone. If it's gone, it's like probably broke off on a city street. It's gone, gone. I'm never getting that thing back. It's not like I lost it in my backyard or lost it in my house somewhere. Like when I was younger, it's it's really gone. I break down crying again, freaking out. I don't know. Never gonna find it, never gonna find it. Then my parents buy me a new one. <laughs> Bless them. They're like, here, here's another one. And I was like, I still have the other old one. This is, I was never wearing this one. That was not the point of this. Not, none of that was the point of this. The point was the fact that that one specifically was important because of its importance to me. And then I moved to California for grad school and I unpacked and sure enough, there it was again. <laughs> I'm like, the fuck? So very quickly, even before I entered witchcraft at all, any short of time, I knew that there was some weird shit going on with this piece. Why is it I could lose it so quickly and other times I just happened to find it? Like, is that just coincidence as some people would say or is there like my little brain when this is spiritually weird i don't know especially because it definitely seems to appear and reappear in times where it is i'm truly unmoored when i don't know where the hell i'm going and i feel very concerned um i had i think i showed it in that last video that i'll have linked in here uh i so then i knew where it was but as of right now i've got no concept i think it's somewhere in this apartment because i must have had it here but it does, it just disappears. And it's not because I'm not being careful with it. I'm the most careful with it because I know I'm always losing the damn thing. But I had originally thought I had it in my previous jewelry with the rest of this and it is not in here. It is missing. I don't know if I'll ever know where it went. It'll probably reappear when I need it most yet again. And isn't that an interesting concept? The idea that certain pieces have so much energy put into them, I believe like from us, and then therefore become this thing that appears or has some sort of odd inclination to be there when we need it most. I also think it's interesting to then have the concept of, say, maybe you're shopping for a piece of spiritual jewelry. Has anyone else had a significant thing then where they're like, maybe you're like just looking over some stuff, they all have a bunch of different symbols and you don't entirely know which one to pick. Um, you know kind of their associations or things that they mean, but you're not necessarily drawn to one or the other. You're not there with like specific intent. And then I a lot of times sit there and then will like trace my hand over them, see which one calls out to me, which one is pulling me towards it in a certain way. I honestly think that at certain times that when we're confused or alone or not knowing what we need, we need a sign of some sort, then like leaning into that and asking the universe to give us a sign to reconnect us with things is great and jewelry shopping is one of the ways that I do that. I'll lean in and suddenly choose a certain piece. I remember there was a renaissance fair with that not too long ago. There was a guy doing some very awesome uh, Nordic art and stuff and they had some runes uh, base things available and so I just like went over I have my own set of runes and I always pull them at times when I want to do a little rune reading and I was like this will be a fun little rune reading because he had all of the Futhark runes um, I don't know if I ever say that right Futhark, Futhark, Futhark you know what I'm saying you know what I'm getting at he had all those done as like necklaces and different um, stuff like that uh, for whatever blessings you're trying to bring to yourself or embody with that specific rune and what it means and so I just like went around and said this one it's like on first instinct was the first one I wanted and I think that was important for the time and then I wore it for a good month straight because it was like no I I felt called out to buy one but I didn't actually know which and it was like ah, okay we're gonna leave it up to the energies at large tell, tell me what I need more of tell me what's up honestly saying that room necklace is missing and there is another part of me that goes this is wasteful to have this mindset right like the whole like again not even just with like sentimental jewelry which is like a whole freaking like oh my god no why uh from an emotional standpoint but from a purely monetarily standpoint like i spent 30 bucks on that little room charm with the necklace um i think it had like a little leather strap that went with it or anything so the chain wasn't of any sort of importance but like Hey, like having this idea of 
gaining and losing jewelry all the time as a sign from the universe is very wasteful. Like capitalistic, like just go buy more consumerist, I guess? I don't know. I'm just saying words now. But that is a thing that I just, ah, definitely gets on me a little bit. Cause I'm like, is it that I'm just careless? Is it that I'm just not really thinking of a thing and I have come up with an idea that absolves me from not taking better care of my things. And it's, I do think that there's an element of that to it as well. Um, caring for a piece, an object with reverence, with honor, I think is definitely a one, a way of charging it spiritually, coming in and cleaning these things um, with grass away and making them nice and shiny again also just comes from the fact that hey me cleansing these is I believe in a way also cleansing them spiritually I am coming in here invoking my energy into it and demanding that whatever gunky weird energies are still clinging to the item be gone I am putting calm and intention and then letting the object and the original feeling of the item come through instead. And when I am open to losing things, open to replacing them, is that not kind of saying that I then see this energy, this charm, this invoking also replaceable? It does not have as much power than I originally thought because if it's so easily replaceable or dismissed, then how potent is it really? if I'm not truly caring for it. What was your thoughts down in the comments and all that below? Do you feel that losing a spiritual item, uh, specifically jewelry or anything like that, do you feel it is a sign of the universe or is it just up to your clumsiness? Do you have some weird battle with it like me where you're not entirely sure how you feel? Is it a sign? Um, have you had a weird experience like I have with my little particular charm that is nothing monetarily, but definitely holds sentimental value that will appear when it freaking wants to and not a moment before. All that in the comments down below. And anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. And I believe I'm finally, once I'm done with this bracelet, actually done cleaning these pieces. So we'll be doing something else in that video. Bye-bye. <laughs>